Hello, my name's Chris and this is uh, Holtz Family Farm and today we're going to go over my uh, quail hutch that I built. Um, first off, I had to build some shelves so that uh, I've got one bin that's got my feet in it and I've got another bin that I keep my uh, dust mixture which is Damascus earth, one third, one third uh, ash from uh, wood burning and one third sand. Um, that way they get a dust bath. I built my own watering system, so I took an old uh, cooler that we had, and I put some plumbing on it, and I got valves on it so I can turn it off to clean it. I have a valve at the bottom that I can drain the whole system. If you look here, I use the watering cups is what I use. Um, people say they have issues, but as you can see, my birds use it pretty well. Um, it took them like 20 minutes to figure it out when I first installed it. And uh, if you look over here, I made my own feed bins. Quail are really sloppy about, they waste a lot of their food, and if you use commercial feeders, they tend to dump a lot of it. This solved a lot of that problem. The only thing I would have done was probably make the holes a little bit smaller, so they do waste a little bit, but that's because the holes are too big, so if you make one, I would make it a little bit smaller holes. That was my first time, I really didn't know how big to go. Um, I have six cages in total. Each cage is uh, just over a foot tall, about 14 inches tall. They're two feet deep and they're eight foot long and there's three on one side and three on the other. They all have uh, pull out trays for the poop and they have wire caging so it drops down in there. And if you can see down here, I put pine shavings in there and that way I can pull it out about once a week, dump this out into the compost pile and use it in the garden once it's been composted. I keep about 12 to 18 birds so I'll do one male to every five females, and I'll do either three males and 15 females, or I'll do two males and 10 females. Down below, the bottom two, I use just as grow out pins, and so those are a little more densely packed, but they're only in there until they get full grown to, to either use them as breeders or to uh, process them for the freezer camp. If you look over here, I'll show you what the inside of some of the cages looks like. As you can see here, they these are open with wire, so there's airflow, and they have three sides open. Um, and then in here, this is enclosed to get a little privacy. Um, I have these pans come out, but I don't take them out. I just sieve the, the dust and replace it. Um, and I take the manure out and put it in the compost pile, but leave the dust, and if I have to, add more dust to it. Um, they can do dust pass in here, and also, because it's dark, they can kind of come in here to get out away from anything if they want to. And supposedly they're supposed to lay their eggs in there, but uh, they pretty much lay their eggs everywhere. So, that is my coop. 